Saudi Arabia has a rich and successful soccer pedigree, especially at national team level, and they have performed well, not only at World Cups, but also at regional Asian Confederation tournaments as well. On a club level, the Saudi teams have also had great successes in Asian Football Confederation club competitions such as the Asian Champions League. Now securing a professional contract in Saudi Arabia may not necessarily bring you closer to playing in Europe and one of the top leagues there, but it is a great thing to have in your resume and you can make some decent money and you will be part of what I believe is the next best confederation to Europe and that's the Asian Football Confederation. The Asian Football Confederation have the Asian Champions League and is a lucrative league to be a part of as a professional player. And Saudi Arabia is a type of place that if you can get in as a professional, you can have a great five, seven, 10 year career just playing in the Middle East and potentially playing in neighboring countries such as United Arab Emirates and you can really make a great living and establish yourself financially for the rest of your life. If you are of Arabian descent, this is definitely gonna be a more enticing factor for clubs there. And if you have a greater understanding of local culture and language and religion as well, because that's very important in this part of the world, so that will definitely be a factor as well. The top tier Saudi Arabian Premier League has 16 professional teams and there's a second tier competition, the first division, that has another 18 teams. Probably one of the most successful teams in Saudi Arabia is Al Hilal, which are actually a multi-sports club and have won more Saudi titles than any other team and have a record six Asian Confederation trophies. Livability wise, this is something to carefully consider as Saudi Arabia is one of the most wealthiest countries in the world, but it also is one of the most strictest environments in terms of ideologies, government, and obviously has a conservative Islamic royal family that governs the country. So if your family member is a little bit on the wild side or is a little too carefree and you doubt whether they could live within these strict parameters, then Saudi Arabia is definitely not a country that I would be sending a family member. In fact, having a great understanding of the local culture and ideology would be a prerequisite for sending any player to even go and try out if an opportunity arose in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm.